Motorhead Garage, the program that each week introduces you to and shows you how to install the latest in exciting and innovative products for your vehicle. Now here's your host, Dave Dobson. Welcome to another edition of Motorhead Garage presented by DragonfireTools.com. Now you are in for a treat because this is a piece that folks ask about all the time. We're going to roll it again for you. It's from our archives. We've got a really cool looking piece right here. It's a workbench or is it a toolbox? I'm not quite sure here, Lou. Uh, what did you bring here from Dragonfire Tools? Well, this is our 20 drawer Midnight Pro Series workbench. All right. And this workbench also is a toolbox. How'd you get the idea? You know, in my own garage for years, I had a wooden workbench and I had a stand up toolbox. We all do. And I'd be, I'd be standing there at the workbench working on something, walk over to the toolbox, grab a 13 millimeter walk back, walk over, grab a Phillips walk back. And finally I got to a point where I was like, you know, I'm, I'm wasting a lot of time here. You know, I, I really wish I had my tools right here where I was working at. And when I looked for something like that, I couldn't find it. It, it, it didn't exist. So I said, well, I'm gonna make it. So how tough is it and how is this made? This entire workbench weighs in at over 1,200 pounds. Holy moly. So the whole thing is welded steel. It's not separate pieces, it's all one piece put together. For instance, this top is one contiguous piece of 304 14 gauge stainless steel with the ends corner welded and the drawer bodies are 16 gauge galvanized steel. The drawer pulls are 14 gauge stainless steel, just like the top. And the entire thing has a 14 gauge tubular steel frame on it. So overbuilt, built to last. And what if I want to bolt some stuff to it? Underneath the stainless steel, there's wood. So if you want to bolt a vise to it, no problem. We tell you that if you're going to bolt a rather large vise to it, like a big old Wilton or Capri vise, put a backing plate up against that wood. That way you get equal distribution of force on your vise. And we started thinking of ways that we could improve the workbench. And one of the things was adding outlets and USB ports to the backsplash. Now you can charge all of your rechargeable power tools right on the workbench surface. Every single one of our workbenches has six outlets and four USB ports on it. Cool, well, that's, that's the workbench portion of the program. Let's talk about the drawers themselves here, the toolbox portion of this. These drawers are so beefy. How heavy are they? Is it easy to move them in and out? Yeah, so as you can see with one finger here, you can move this drawer out and we've got it loaded full of wrenches. The drawer itself is 16 gauge galvanized steel, as we said. What's interesting though, is that we also have these top hat gussets, which run the entire width of the drawer. And those top hat gussets provide rigidity for the drawer, especially when you're loading it down with heavy tools. And how much weight do these hold? This drawer here, uh, it has the thicker rails on it. It will hold 150 pounds. Wow. And these bottom drawers here, these are all double railed and they're rated at 300 pounds. My goodness, this will stand up to just about anything. Yeah, can even stand in the drawer. Nice. <laughs> how much How much weight do those hold on the bottom? 300 pounds. I could barely stand in it. No, I can make that. I mean, talk about the center drawers here then. I love the, the organization here. And I noticed as I opened one of these up here, you had this, this blow molded case in there. Those don't fit in my toolbox at home. Right. So, you know, a lot of the blow molded cases, uh, customers keep for specialty tools, yep. right? So we wanted to make sure that we had space in the workbench for them, no matter what drawer you wanted to be able to put them in. Great idea there. And the problem I have a lot of times is my sockets and taller tools just get knocked right over when they don't even fit in the drawers, but you've solved that problem as well. Yeah, we have a deeper drawer down here that's roughly about five inches deep. Wow. And as you can see, we have an entirely full set of quarter, three eighths, half inch, and three quarters in this drawer. So with this drawer being double railed, galvanized steel, gusted the drawer bottom, you know, this drawer is going to be able to hold the weight of all of your tools and sockets. Now, other folks are making benches like this with, with the drawers in them. What makes yours different from, from the other ones out there? Well, there's really only two companies out there that make a workbench kind of like this. Everybody else just makes toolboxes. And that's what makes us different is, you know, this piece is an actual workbench. It has a backsplash. You can bolt a vise to it. You can bolt a bench grinder to it. A lot of the other companies out there, they just make toolboxes. But this is something that's going to be in your shop for a long time. It's going to last. You can set it and forget it, or you can put it on casters, the heavy duty caster set. Uh, it's a six piece caster set, and each caster holds 650 pounds. 
And we have several different models. We make three workbenches in this size, which is nine foot four and a quarter, and we make three workbenches in the seven foot model too. Whether you're a professional or just a hobbyist, you can save yourself a lot of time, a lot of space, and a lot of money. Check them out at dragonfiretools.com. We'll be right back with more Motorhead Garage presented by dragonfiretools.com. We'll see you in a minute.